spotlight back on the market. Um, Rajat Sharma, CEO at Sana Securities, joins us now. Uh, Rajat, I'm going to start off with a stock which is really a big mover in today's trade, which is Z uh, Entertainment. It's up 33 rupees, 8.5% uh, and, and close to a lifetime high. Now, CLSA has given an upgrade. What did you make of the numbers from Z and what's your call on the stock? Yeah, good afternoon, Mini. I'm uh, not really tracking uh, Z Entertainment's number. I've not had a chance to look at them, but media space in general is something that uh, I'm not very uh, bullish going forward purely because I think the stocks have run up so much for reasons which, you know, I mean, I've looked at uh, fundamentals in this space. I really don't know why uh, media stocks should start doing well. In fact, for uh, media stocks which are in the listed space, uh, I find very little in terms of improvement which could add to the uh, bottom line of these stocks with uh, uh, you know, so much action on the digital front and uh, online uh, viewership front. So fundamentally, I find this space really, really weak, actually. Actually, um, uh, the stocks have run up just about 10% in the over-the-year period, so it's not really a big move up. Sun TV is actually down 3.5% uh, year-to-date. Uh, and um, Z Entertainment over a year is up 34%, yes, but over the year-to-date period, it is up only about 10%. Hathaways has seen a big up move in trade today. Do you track that, Rajat? Uh, no, but again, Hathaway, I think uh, where uh, I see a positive change for Hathaway is probably if they can uh, ramp up their uh, internet uh, business, if they can ramp up their uh, uh, you know, uh, 3G uh, side of business. And uh, we were recently doing a report on telecom companies where we were looking at uh, the internet, the broadband space eating into the revenue of telecom companies. And that's where we talked about this. There is news coming in, Rajat, uh, on uh, Hathaway. It is uh, demerging uh, a part of its business, and that's this uh, there. It is demerging the broadband business to Hathaway Broadband, and that is why the stock is up about nine uh, and a half a percent up. But I'm going to ask you about Tata Motors, uh, Rajat. I'm sure you tracked that. Uh, there's been a big positive surprise from JLR from Europe and the US, uh, mitigating the fears on China. Is it worth a, a re-rate? And what's your target on that? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's interesting you asked me that. Uh, a couple of weeks back, I recommended Tata Motors. And uh, we recommended that on our site. And I said, it's a screaming buy. And that sort of was at a point when Tata Motors was trading at 288. Now it's already run up 35% from that point. Look, my point was that China, yes, is, is a huge market. In fact, they get about 29% of their revenue from China. But w what had happened where Tata Motors fell from about 400 levels to 288 was on the fear of a slowdown in China. Now my view is what the revenue Tata Motors gets from China is from pure luxury markets. So consumption slowdown, does it really affect Jaguar, Land Rover kind of luxury market sales, I really don't think it does. And Tata Motors is a story of uh, luxury cars. It's like 83% revenue coming from Jaguar, Land Rover. So Tata branded vehicles get sell only about 17%, get only about 17, bring in only about 17% of the revenue. Now, it's interesting because I think Tata branded vehicles, that's a vertical, particularly in uh, uh, medium and heavy commercial vehicles in India. That is the w vertical which should expand at some point as infra projects pick up and older inventory gets out and new inventory comes in. So that's a space to watch out. But again, the fall in Tata Motors from 400 to 288 or 290 was totally unwarranted because you know China slowed down. The fear was so overplayed. And yesterday, we saw Jaguar Land Rover reported what 3% higher over the previous quarter. And previous quarter's numbers were actually down. So I think while we recommended it at 290, it's run up in two weeks about 30%. It's still, uh, it's still a buy and hold. In fact, I think uh, you could add on positions in that stock. Fair enough. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, that's a quick uh, view coming in from uh, our market guest today, Rajat Sharma from Sana Security.